Hi, my name is Katrina and I'm 37 years of age and I'd like to tell you something about a syndrome that people don't realise people can have. As you notice, my glasses are dark. Okay, They are specifically for Erlang syndrome. Erlang syndrome is a visual stress disorder. It is also a form of dyslexia. But instead of affecting your brain, it affects your eyes. Did you know everybody in Ireland with disabilities can be going undiagnosed or diagnosed incorrectly? It affects the information from your eyes going into your brain in the right process. Like difficulty with reading off certain colours like white cream or ivory. Or looking at white snow, bright lights or stuff that has a glare. Many people think it's just to do with the sun, but it's to do with everyday type of light. And to show you what I mean, this is what my eyes look like when I take off my glasses. My eyes are actually fully open, but you will see them have nearly closed. And that's what Erlang syndrome does. When I put my glasses on, you can't see my eyes open, but... They do, they open fully. And that's because the Erlang syndrome glasses prevent the light that hurts my eyes. That's from blue light to certain specific red lights. My glasses are specifically very, very dark. But for me, this is what I see. It's like a red color. Can you see like that? Well, that's what I see. But it might not work for everyone. As my lenses are six coating long, a uh, six coating in color is not covered by HSC. And don't get me wrong, I appreciate these glasses because I can read, I can do a lot of things that I wouldn't be able to do. Before I got my glasses, I was almost like a prisoner in my own home, or I had to wear three or four types of glasses on top. A lot of people called me freak or names. People use too much discrimination like retard or retarded or midget or dwarf or anything that discriminates against somebody because they have a disability. But discrimination is given to everyone who are from different cultures, religion, beliefs, sexualities, orientation. So it shouldn't matter who you are. Everyone has a disability. Some are more noticeable than others. Now the fact that I was going with a different diagnosis and didn't know what was going on until I went to Dublin to an Erlang syndrome specialist. Now, Erlang syndrome can affect everyone, but some people with Erlang syndrome, like myself, have both uh, sensory and audio differences, which means that my hearing is sensitive to certain specific sounds. Now, this is also known as a form of Asperger's or autism. It can be also diagnosed with that. But if you notice that your child is acting funny or an adult is acting funny because of light and can't go outside or enjoy themselves, can't bear to look at white cream or ivory, find it difficult to read or write, I suggest you go to the Erling Sensorium Specialist online for Dublin. It is expensive depending on what amount of lenses you need. Because mine is six, it would cost nearly 1500 Now, I'm not saying exactly how much I paid, but I'm giving a guess for what I can read. This is Katrina signing off. If you want to know more information about Erlang Syndrome, please accept my or log on to my YouTube page. And I hope everyone can understand that just because somebody has a disability doesn't give anybody the right to call them any discriminating word, degrading, demeaning or belittling. There are different forms of disabilities. Some disabilities are, in some cases, I'll give you an example. Usher syndrome level 1 is severe. Uh, Somebody with Asperger's at level 1 is slight. So it depends on what disability you have and the level you have. You might think level 1 is the best one you can have, but in some cases it's not. Unfortunately, a lot of people are afraid of people with disabilities. Don't be afraid of people with disabilities. Disability is in our society and it should stay in our society. I'll give you an example of people who, are disabled, who have disabilities like famous people. 
Einstein, um, Daniel Radcliffe, and many other people. But you wouldn't go around calling them the O-word, retarded, retard or handicapped, because they are famous. Then why go around people who aren't as famous and call, calling them names? Bullying is a very big key of people's lives and people should not be allowed to bully or discriminate or be racist. People have entitlement to live their life and have some kind of life in society. People should be more understanding and accepting towards people regardless of disability, abilities, sexualities, orientation, religion or beliefs. I wouldn't give two hoots if somebody was a different colour from me. I would still be friends with them because that's the way I am. I have no discrimination or racism in my bone. What I do not tolerate is people who think that it's okay to still use it about themselves or think it's a joke or think that using it in the right context is still okay. It's not. So pledge your word in the words of discrimination, racism or hatred. There should be some law made for people who call people names to be banned. Now, I hope you understand that people with Erlang syndrome or any type of disability still have the same opportunities to do things, but people are not willing to give them a job or the opportunity or chance. So the next time you see somebody because they have wear glasses or dark glasses does not mean that they are a vampire or that they wear sunglasses. They may have Erlang syndrome. Do not be afraid to ask the person, can I ask you why you wear dark glasses? Instead of sniggering and pointing and laughing and jeering. We're not afraid to say, yes, we have something wrong with us. But everyone has. Then you might have a disability that might be only slight. Where somebody who has Down syndrome, you automatically know they have Down syndrome. So what? They're human beings. Everyone's a human being. Okay, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube page. Thank you.